Hi everyone, this is Mavic Poa, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the pH of period 3 metal chlorides. Now under the topic of periodicity in inorganic chemistry, there is a discussion involving the pH of period 3 chlorides in water. Now what we want to do in this discussion is we just want to focus on the period 3 metal chlorides and there is a very interesting relationship between the pH of these three metal chlorides. If I look at sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and aluminum chloride, the pH of sodium chloride will be equal to 7, which is neutral. pH of magnesium chloride is pH equals to 6, slightly acidic. pH of aluminum chloride is pH equal to 3. The pH is even lower, so therefore it is even more acidic. Now the reason why the pH of these three metal chlorides decreases gradually is linked to the polarizing power of the metal cation. Now polarizing power, it is a very important concept for metal cations. There are a lot of consequences involving polarizing power of metal cations. Things like ionic bond with covalent character is tied to polarizing power. Thermal decomposition of group 2 metal carbonate is also linked to polarizing power. And there are a few other terms such as enthalpy change of hydration for metal cations is also tied to polarizing power. So we need to be very familiar with this concept, which is what we call polarizing power, which is related to charge density. Now let's look at these three metal cations, Na+, plus, Mg2+, plus, and Al3+. Plus. Now if you look at Na+, plus, what we know for sodium cation, the charge density is lower. Charge density is just simply related to charge divided by size. So because Na plus is just a plus one charge, the charge density will be lower. So therefore, the polarizing power would be weaker. Mg2 plus, because the charge is higher, size is roughly the same because they are in the same period. So they roughly have the same size. So we would expect Mg2 plus will have a higher charge density as compared to Na plus. So the polarizing power would increase. Now Al3 plus, of course, it has the highest charge. In this case, the charge density for this set will be the highest. So therefore, you will have an even stronger polarizing power. Now what has polarizing power got to do with the pH of the solution? Now for the case of metal chlorides dissolved in water, the polarizing power is linked to the distortion of electron cloud of water molecules. Now, if I look at aluminum 3 plus as an example, because it is the most polarizing of this lot, Al3 plus has the highest charge density. So therefore, it has a very high charge, a very small size. The charge is very intense. So therefore, it is more polarizing. Now, if it is more polarizing, it has a greater ability to distort the electron cloud of a neighboring anion. So Al3+, plus, if it is in aqueous medium and it is surrounded by water molecules, what it can do is it can distort the electron cloud for water molecules. So it can pull the electron cloud distribution closer to itself. And this portion that I've shaded here will just be the distortion of the electron cloud for water. Now, when there's a distortion of electron cloud for water, what happens is the bonds inside water would weaken because the electron cloud is supposed to be used by the atoms inside water molecules to interact within each other so that each of these bonds will have a certain bond strength. Now, what this Al3 plus is doing is, it is trying to take electrons away from water. So therefore, there are less electron distribution to be shared amongst these atoms inside water molecule. So all these OH bonds will start to weaken. So in general, the more polarizing the metal cation, then the greater the distortion of the electron cloud, then the bonds within this molecule will be weakened and the OH bonds will be weaker. So therefore, it is easier for me to break the OH bonds to release H+. So once these bonds inside here are weaker, then it is easier for me to break the OH bond. Then what happens is this hydrogen will come out, or it will be kicked out as a H+. So this H will be released as a H+, plus, and it is because of the release of this H+, plus that causes the solution to be acidic. So the process of breaking OH bonds to release H+, plus, we call this hydrolysis, since 
effectively it is the reaction involving water so if the OH bond is weaker and it hydrolyzes more easily then I can release more H plus and it causes the pH of the solution to decrease now one thing interesting is some of us might be thinking if I break this OH bond then I release H plus I will still have OH minus then wouldn't the concentration of H plus and OH minus stay the same then wouldn't the solution remain as neutral so this OH minus is negatively charged it will attract this positive Al3 plus so it doesn't release the OH minus you only release the H plus into solution so finally back to this comparison again we have Na plus Mg2 plus Al3 plus Na plus it has a lower charge density so therefore it is less polarizing or it has a weaker polarizing power so the ability for Na plus to distort the electron cloud of water is very limited in fact the polarizing power is so weak that it doesn't hydrolyze water to the extent that it can release H plus so water actually don't undergo hydrolysis or the OH bond is not broken when it is with Na plus so there's no H plus release pH of the solution would remain neutral whereas on the other hand if I look at Al3 plus it has a higher charge density so therefore it is the most polarizing for this set if it is more polarizing or it has a stronger polarizing power it can distort the electron cloud for water to a bigger extent weaken the bonds in water so OH bonds will break more readily hydrolyze more readily to release more H pluses so it causes the pH of the solution to decrease pH for Al3 plus equals is roughly about pH equals to 3 so Mg2 plus is somewhat in the middle and we say that Mg2 plus the pH will be roughly about 6 slightly acidic but it is less acidic than Al3 plus because it has a lower charge density than Al3 plus less polarizing so less H plus will be released by Mg2 plus all right so that was the discussion involving the pH of period 3 metal chlorides if you have learned something useful from this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons that's all for now. Thanks for watching.